I'm Steve Garaziola back in the Notre Dame Day studio, and we are joined now by Rear Admiral Philip Durr, a double domer. Spent 30 years in military service in the United States Navy. He is back here now today to talk with us about ROTC scholarships. Rear Admiral Durr, sir, thank you for joining us for the program. It's my pleasure. Uh, before you can talk about a solution, I guess we have to identify the problem. Uh, Notre Dame has a very large ROTC program, but as I understand it, there are a lot of really good people that can't be part of it. So what's the problem? Why can't they be part of it? Well, it's, it's true that we have a large program because we have all three services on campus at a relatively small university. The problem is that some of the commissioning rates have dropped in the past few years, and that's primarily due to the cost of attending a university, even with an ROTC scholarship. The trick, of course, is to, uh, when you're in the ROTC program, you buy off a lot of your collateral duty time with ROTC. So campus jobs and things of like that are a little more problematic. What we need to do is to find ways to help qualified students who are also scholarship recipients uh, with some of the room and board costs. So there's the problem, but I suspect, sir, you are a solutions kind of guy. And uh, what are the answers to that problem? How can we help some of those talented young people? Well, I think that I want to start from the premise that ROTC is important to Notre Dame. Uh, Father Hesper, whom I knew, uh, used to always uh, support and indeed promote ROTC on campus for two principal reasons. One, to maintain the affiliation the university has had with the services since at least World War II. But secondly, to encourage and promote students at Notre Dame to come into service with the ethics, values, and traditions that are uh, at Notre Dame, in a, quite apart from the outstanding academic environment from which these students come. So the solution is, is finding resources so these young people can be part of this program. Absolutely. And to that end, uh, with Jim Hesburgh, Father Ted Hesburgh's brother, uh, we have launched a Reverend Theodore M. Hesburgh Fellowship for ROTC. We started it. We're in our formative stage, but we're encouraging others who came to Notre Dame, went through ROTC, and understand the merits to help us uh, get more, uh, more students who are qualified for entry to the university and also uh, recipients of scholarships to come to Notre Dame and not to some of the other schools that do subsidize their room and board where we don't today. Mm -hmm. You've dedicated much of your life to service to this country and I think I speak for everyone. We thank you for those many years of service. What is the value in your mind of an ROTC program? The, 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 I, I look back on my ROTC years here at Notre Dame, the formative part of my life, taught me a lot of the values, taught me uh, the importance of ethical leadership, taught me, taught me to be motivated to serve the country in a special way. And um, I look back at my Notre Dame days and uh, I can truthfully say that I was formed here as a 17-year-old both by the university and by my ROTC experience, which led to a 30-year Navy career. Well, you mentioned service, ethics, responsibility. That's the Notre Dame way. Indeed. Ray Mulder, thank you, sir, for thank joining Thank you for us. having me. I appreciate it. Thank you.